Hey, what's up? It's Randy, and welcome back to another video. Now, right now, you're listening to the brand new Boom XD Pro from Comica. This mic just came out today, so huge thanks to Comica for sending this over. Let's jump straight into some sound tests. So this is option number one with the Boom XD Pro mounted in my t-shirt. This is kind of the most basic way to use it. Option number two, we've got the dead cat on the top of this. Now I know this is more for outdoors, but I just wanted to hear if this actually impacts the sound or not. You be the judge. Option number three, you can flip this backwards so all you can see is the little belt clip. See if that impacts the sound at all. Option number four is using the included lavalier microphone that comes with it. This is option number four. And this is what the lavalier sounds like without the little foam cap on the top of it. And for those wondering about suit jacket options, this is with the microphone clipped onto the lapel and the extra slack just dangled into my pocket there. And the final option is how this lav sounds concealed. Right now it's taped to my chest, just with some tape there, uh, and it's underneath my shirt so you guys can hear if there's any rustling or any noises like that. This is what the Boom XD Pro sounds like when it's attached to a spatula covered in peanut butter when I feed it to my dog. Now you know. So this is what it sounds like when you're vlogging outdoors. I don't have the dead cat on this thing, so we'll see if there's some wind noise, but it's not too windy out here, so shouldn't be too bad. Now the Boom XD Pro follows the original Boom XD. So some of the features, it has an onboard eight gigabytes of internal recording, it has a safety channel, and it also has a digital and analog output. They've also increased the working range from 50 meters up to 100 meters. So we're out at a baseball field right now, baseball diamond, I guess you call it, and I'll test out the range in just a second. But with internal recording, the great thing is, is if you have any dropouts or any range issues, you can recover that by just taking the recording and using that in post. And what's also great is this comes with two different microphones. So you can hear me perfectly here. And you can hear me perfectly here. As for the price, this comes in at $269 US, and it also comes in black or white. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how that stacks up against the Rode Wireless Go, as well as Wireless Go 2, and the Deity Pocket Wireless. Now, if you guys wanna hear these back to back in sort of a comparison video, let me know if that'd be interesting down below, and I'll definitely make a video just like that. All right, so let's take a look inside. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely loaded with accessories, which is just awesome. So we have our first lav here with a little foam windshield on the top of it. And of course we have our second lav, which is awesome. And then we have a variety of 3.5 millimeter cables. These are specifically to get to your camera or your smartphone or anything like that. We've got a wicked USB type A to three USB type C breakout cable. This is for charging the device, which is pretty cool. Some silica gel, wicked, and our dead cat. And then for the devices, you can see we've got our two transmitters and the receiver in the middle. And you can identify the transmitters because they have the microphone little square box in the top right corner. So this is one of the transmitters here. You can see that mic up in the top right. Beside that, we have an input for the lavalier microphone. And it has that locking piece. So you can actually use this. It's kind of like keyed. And then once it's plugged in, you squeeze the little plastic to close it. And then you pinch it to pull it back out. So it's nice and snug once it's in there. On the side, we've got USB Type-C, which is for powering and uh, removing files from your computer. We've got the record button. Now the buttons feel okay. I wouldn't say that they're great, but they feel okay. We've got the hot shoe clip on the back so you can clip it to your coat or to the camera. And then the power slash mute, power to hold, and then you tap it a few times to go through mute and unmuting. And below that, we have the pair option. So you hold that to pair it. And down here, you've got the little reset hole as well. On the receiver, you can see it's pretty basic. Just the screen here on the left side, we've got the USB type C for charging. Again, we've got the hot shoe clip on the back. On the right side, we've got the reset hole, the power slash mode button. Now the modes will take you through what you have here. So you can see it's in stereo. Now it's in safety and now it's in mono. And I'll explain a little bit more on these modes in just a minute. On the top side, we've got our headphone out. This is just for monitoring, so you can listen to see if there are any dropouts or anything like that. To the right side of that, we've got our output, which is our 3.5 millimeter out. Now, when you're ready to record, just press the record button once, that'll wake up the screen. And then when you press and hold, you'll see that it starts to record. You can see the flashing icon. 
and then the timer will start to count upward. And you can get about 24 hours on that eight gigabytes before it starts to overwrite the previous recordings. And something to note is that you can't actually access those recordings through the device, like through a menu or anything. You have to access them with a computer. But you can basically get a full eight hour shooting day or a 12 hour shooting day and not have to worry about overwriting files at all. Why internal recording is so important is because with getting serious range, like if you wanna go up to 100 meters, you can, but you have to sort of run the risk of dropouts and stuff like that. So with the internal recording, you can always recover any dropouts. So I'm gonna go 300 feet that way. I don't know if you can see behind me, 300 feet that way. And we're gonna see if we get any dropouts, but if there are, we can always just recover it in post. So uh, I'm gonna go hiking, I'll be back. All right, have fun. All right, so we'll see if we start to get any dropouts. I know when I tested out the, um, pocket wireless from Didi. Every time I turned around like this, it actually dropped out, which was kind of frustrating. I didn't really expect it to, to drop out, but we'll keep walking here. Check, 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 hey, hey. Walking, walking, walking. But sometimes you just gotta, you gotta get in the mud for a good video. So we're coming up on, but it, well, we're close to 300 feet now, actually. Like a literal swamp. Check, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna see if she can still hear me. Are you still hearing me? Are you still hearing me? I'm getting a thumbs up, I think, from her. We'll see what that means. This is around feet. She works listening to, I think she's giving me a thumbs up. That's actual, oh, she's giving me like the iffy hand. So it's like, might be working. So it's really nice to have that internal recording because you can basically salvage any lost transmissions that didn't make it back to your camera. So the last thing I wanna test is um, if it drops out when you go behind items like line of sight issues, because that was Ooh, an issue with the deity as well. You should try going behind that green box. I will, here. Walking behind the green box, behind the green box. So there's like metal between us right now. <laughs> you can kind of see my head popping out. Is it still getting levels? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Any of you guys considering the Pocket Wireless from Deity, this just big time outperformed it because in our last video, I don't know if you guys saw it, but we were walking out on this field right here in the middle of the pouring rain and the Deity cut out literally every time I turned around. Didn't matter if I was 10 meters away or 50 meters away, it would just drop out like crazy. So this is actually a step up from the Deity. All right, so the green box wasn't a uh, big enough competition, but we have a gray building to try out. Okay. Check, 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 check. This is me walking around. We'll have to switch over to the internal memory at some point if um, requires. I'm pretty sure you completely cut out. Did I? Okay. I think so. Well, that's good to know. I started to see some levels, like maybe when you were starting to come back, yeah. but as soon as you turn that corner, the levels went to nothing. Oh, did they? Okay. So can't go through concrete buildings, but it can go through a small steel box. Just so you guys know, I'm trying to test all the different things here. When you're looking at the receiver, there are three different modes that you can toggle between. So we have mono mode, which basically takes both of these signals coming off these devices and merges them into one mono signal that you can output to your camera. Stereo mode will have transmitter A in left and transmitter B in the right. So this is great if you wanna have separation, maybe you have a guy with one and a girl with another and they have different EQ profiles and you want a little bit more control in post. Just note that if you don't wanna do any post production, you're gonna have one person hard left and one person hard right. So you can't really use this if you just plan on doing like a run and gun scenario. You're gonna have to do a little bit of editing in post to bring them both back to center and then to do processing on each one depending on what you need. And the final option is a safety channel, which is a lot like the mono version. So the mono version where it was summing both of these together on one channel, it still does that, but it also creates a second channel at six dB lower. All right, and this is a little test of some indoor vlogging, just kind of walking around my house here. Um, now, something I just want to note about the microphone quality. I have to say, I listened back to some of the footage when I imported it in and it wasn't quite as good as I had initially expected. I'll turn off the processing right now. So this is what this microphone sounds like straight out of the box with no processing at all. And you can tell it's kind of like ringy. There's a bit of ringiness and honkiness sort of in that mid range area. It also seems to be missing some low end and some high end. So I had to do quite a bit to recover and it never really sounded as good as I had hoped. But I think it's totally passable for things like vlogging or narrating over video or um, wedding shooting, anything like that. I think it's gonna be totally fine for that kind of thing. It's obviously not gonna sound as good as like a shotgun microphone, but 
the convenience of it is really where it shines. So you guys can be the judge. Again, this is with no processing at all. This is how it sounds directly out of the camera. Well, that's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. A big thank you to Comica for sending this unit over. Now, if you guys wanna see my review of the Deity Pocket Wireless, check out this video right here. I cover the whole thing in depth, so you can check that out. That's it for this week. We'll see you guys next time.